Beautiful Scorpio peeps. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Amphrey Cancer Moon's Tarot. And I'm coming at you guys with your December 2021 tarot reading. As always, readings here are general, so if they resonate, that's awesome. And if not, it's not your message. And if you want to check out my official social medias, all that information is going to be linked down in the description below. I just dropped like a ton of cards, Scorpio. These cards, man, I love this tarot deck, but it's so freaking big for my tiny ass hands. But with that being said, let's get on into it, y'all, and see what we got going on. So we're going to start off your December reading uh, with your current energy. Energies, and then we'll move forward into the rest of the reads. So what is going to be the current energies coming in here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus throughout the month of December 2021. Let's go ahead and have a look here. What do we got for Scorpio? We got here a Knight of Swords. I like that. Taking some action here. Um, I love this because it's a tattoo tarot deck. And y'all know me. I love tattoos. But for some reason, looking at the Knight of Swords... I just got an image of you guys getting tatted, so maybe you're getting tatted this month. If so, show me on Instagram, Cancer Moons Out Tarot. I love seeing people's tattoo work. It could be something of a flower. I got roses all over here, so maybe you guys got some roses going on. But if so, show me, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see. So we got here the Knight of Swords, the World card, and then we also got here the Strength card. So you could be connecting with a Leo. Um, you could be dealing with any fixed sign, by the way. You might be dealing with a Leo, an Aquarius, a Taurus, or possibly a Scorpio, and any of that could be within your chart as as well so with your current energy showing up here knight of swords the world card the strength card coming into the month of december definitely is giving me vibes of just pushing forward doing what you need to do staying on course is what i'm hearing for you guys in regards to your own path i definitely feel a lot of scorpios being pretty highly motiv uh, motivated in the month of december to kind of get done what it is you're doing you're making sure that you're handling your business you're handling your tasks you're getting everything done okay you're being very good at taming the beast um what is the word that i'm looking for in regards to what i'm trying to say there is a very prominent word i want to use oh what is it called? Fuck. What is it called? I hate when this happens, Scorpio, when I blank out, because I know there's a really good word for this, um, but it will come to me later, I guess. I'm not too sure. Um, it's that energy of just, like, making sure that you continue doing what you need to do. Um, like, for example, when you're working out, you're staying very what? All right, Scorpio, it's going to tick me off for not remembering, but if I do remember it, I'll get back to it. Um, I mean, temperate is kind of the word too, but it's not even it's not even the word that I'm looking for exactly, but it'll come to me eventually, all right? But either way, you're staying on top of yourself. You're doing what you need to do. Uh, you're making sure that you don't break, you don't crack, you get what you need to get done, all right? Let's go ahead over here and take a look at this Knight of Swords. What is Scorpio over here pursuing in the month of December? What is Scorpio pursuing? And we got here the justice. Cool. Some of you guys could be uh, pursuing some legal stuff um, in the sense of maybe you're becoming a lawyer. You'd be going to law school. Uh, this could be uh, very well likely be about um, some of you guys pursuing being a cop. Uh, so this could be the energy of like doing something in civil service. This could be doing something about being a lawyer. I mean, some of you guys could be settling stuff in court. Maybe this could be something to do with children. Um, but if that's the case, I definitely feel like whatever you're pursuing within court is going within your favor, Scorpio. So I would definitely say things are ruling in your favor for sure. And I also don't really feel like just within that example of like in the court, I think in general, things are pretty much ruling in your favor in the month of December as a general term. I don't know why that's what I'm feeling here for you, but things are going to be ruling in your favor, Scorpio. That's what they want me to tell you. Okay, let's go ahead over here and take a look and see what Scorpio is going to be dealing with throughout the month of December. What is Scorpio going to be dealing with, please? Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout December 2021. What is Scorpio going to be dealing with? And we got here the star card. Hello. We also got here the seven of cups. And we got here the four of swords followed up with the ten of cups. So with the energies you're dealing with here, seven of cups to the star card. I'm not sure necessarily where I fall into place in my life or what I'm meant to fall into alignment with just yet. But I'm continuing to keep on exploring. I'm continuing to keep on working with myself. I'm continuing to keep on working on my life. 
it's that energy of just making sure you're continuing to handle your business. Um, like I said originally with that Knight of Swords, you know, you're being very temperate, you're continuing to work on what you need to, you're not backing down, but with the Seven of Cups coming into play, it's also that energy of like, I'm continuing to swim, I'm continuing to go with the flow. Uh, so Dory vibes, Scorpios over here are going to just keep swimming in the month of December is what I'm seeing here too. So maybe some of you guys are saying like, I don't have my life totally figured out, like completely figured out just yet. But I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing because the more that I keep on doing what I'm doing, the more that I create healthy routines in my life, the more that I create healthy routines in my life, the more that I have a life that's enjoyable. So I feel like you guys are kind of taking life day by day, but you're also working very hard on improving your life no matter what. So you're not necessarily sure where you're supposed to be yet, but you're building up that energy of just making sure you handle business and you get things done. Now, we also have here the Four of Swords and we have here the Ten of Cups. What I'm seeing here for you as well, Scorpio, is this energy of like, I also know that my life is not the most fulfilling life out there, but I see that you guys are stepping into an energy of gratitude of being happy for how far you've come and where you are already. So Scorpios, the energies that you're dealing with in December is like, I don't by any means necessary have the most perfect life, but I have a, I have a life that's worth living. You know, I don't have the most amazing life, but I have a life that I'm grateful for. And as long as I have a life that I'm grateful for, that is enough for me. I don't need everything in my life to be perfect. I don't need my life to be one goddamn Pixar movie, but what I I do need is to make sure that I'm working on myself, that I'm working on my life, that I'm staying focused, and that I keep my goals in mind of what it is that I want to complete, what it is that I want to be successful in, okay? As far as the rest of life goes, I'm figuring it out one step and one day at a time, baby. Life is not a game to rush in. Life is not a game to continuously keep on going further and further and further. Life is a game to just live and enjoy, and I'm making sure that I'm enjoying it. So I like that a lot for you, Scorpio, okay? I wish that word would come back to me that I'm still trying to figure out within my head that really describes this whole entire reading but um, it's just not coming up man it is just not coming up for some reason anyway Scorpio moving forward let's see where things are going for you guys in the month of December where are things gonna be going for Scorpio in the month of December Scorpio Sun Moon Rising Venus throughout December 2021 where are things gonna be going here for Scorpio we got here the Three of Wands, we got here another Star card, and we also got here the King of Swords and then the Hermit. By the way, if you guys are confused why there are two Star cards in this Tarot deck, this Tarot deck does double up on certain cards, so we have both the stars coming out for your reading, which is actually pretty good news. I love seeing the Star card. It's a great card that talks about alignment, it's a great card that talks about hope, so it feels to me like good things are definitely coming for you in this month of December. So, in regards to where things are going, uh, three of wands and the star card um i immediately heard <laughs> listen to your heart like i don't know where i'm going and i don't know why but listen to your heart uh so this is the energy scorpio of just like i don't know where things are going and it's okay that i don't know where things are going i'm just gonna keep on following my heart i'm gonna keep on following the flow okay so you very much so are definitely in a flow state now we also have here the king of swords and we have here the hermit i feel like you are also doing your best to stay away from something in the month of December, guys. Uh, you're making sure that you have your boundaries up here. There's something you're very cautiously avoiding that decided to come up in this tarot reading. Um, it could be a specific person. Maybe it could be an ex of yours. Um, it could be a friend or something like that or just a person overall. But I do feel like there is something here you're avoiding wholeheartedly because you know that you're doing that to protect your energy. So, excuse me, Scorpio, coming into the month of December, you know, based upon where things are going, you're continuing to like, Focus on yourself, focus on your life, but there's also someone or something you're actively avoiding because you know that if you are to invest into it, that can like undo all the work you're doing right now. It's just going to put you in a negative place. It's going to put you in a nasty place and you don't got time for any bad vibes in the month of December, okay? Scorpio, I really feel like this month for you is all about good vibes. It's all about staying on top of your shit, staying on top of your health, mentally, physically, spiritually. It's all about making sure that you get things done. It's about making sure that you stay grateful for the life that you have knowing that you don't need to have absolutely everything. There's no such thing as a picture perfect life. It's about enjoying what's right in front of you, right? So I like that a lot, Scorpio, but there is something here you are actively avoiding. Tell me more about that. Why is Scorpio actively avoiding something or someone 
We got here the Nine of Wands. We got here the Seven of Pentacles. We got here the King of Wands. Yeah, you know, Scorpio, that if you were to invest in this someone or something, it would bring out the lower vibrational part of yourself. It would bring out the side of yourself that you don't really feel like revealing to the world anymore. You just don't want someone or something here getting your energy, especially when you've been working so hard recently to not let things affect you or make negative impacts in your life. So Scorpio, I see that you're avoiding something, but you're avoiding something for all the right reasons because you know that you just don't need that fucking energy in your life point blank period okay let's go ahead and have a look here and see if there are any sort of dire or important messages for scorpios in the month of december that are going to come up keep in mind these messages may correlate to the reading that we just read for you or they may be completely randomized all right are there any sort of dire or important messages coming up for scorpio in the month of december 2021 we got here the Eight of Cups, we got here the Eight of Swords, we got here the Four of Pentacles, and we got here the Six of Swords. So guys, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, do not continue to hold on to things that you know damn well are not going to serve you in your highest of good Scorpio. Don't be afraid to have an exploration. When I first saw the Knight of Swords jump out in your reading, the immediate thing that I got was, oh, we're going somewhere, Scorpio. We're exploring, right? Um, I think that's what the universe wants to kind of remind you of in the month of December. It's like, don't be afraid to explore new things, new topics, new ideas, new experiences, new types of relationships, new friendships, new type of career opportunities. Don't be afraid at all to explore anything. Definitely step out of your shell and venture out into the unknown because it's going to be hella beneficial for you. I feel like I say this in every tarot reading for almost every sign, but it is such a an awesome quote to live by get comfortable with being uncomfortable okay the more you step out of your comfort zone the more you're going to grow as a person the more things you're going to learn and find and enjoy the more experiences you're going to have in life and really the whole point of this damn life is to have experiences anyways so you might as well step out of your comfort zone and get more experiences um, i'm also seeing here as well for you scorpio eight of swords here eight of pentacles don't be afraid to get out of your head either okay squirps don't be afraid to get out of your head. If you need to communicate to people about things that you're thinking about, don't be afraid to lean on somebody is also what I'm hearing for you in this month of December. So if you have close friends to talk to, tell your friends about your problems. Tell your friends about what you're thinking about. Tell your friends about whatever you got going on in your life. Oh, you stubbed your toe, it hurts. Okay, go call your best friend and talk about it, okay? It's that energy of like, yo, don't keep everything in here. Don't keep everything bottled up inside your head. That's one great way to drive yourself mad. All right, so Scorpios, be mindful in the month of December that you're not harboring every single thought to yourself and to yourself alone. Remember that you can open up to people around you. Make sure you're letting that out, okay? I'm also hearing too, try writing, try journaling, try scripting. All right, Scorpio, definitely would be very beneficial to you. I love journaling and scripting. I do it almost every day. One of my favorite techniques to do, especially when it comes towards manifesting, but also when it comes towards releasing. So guys, don't be afraid to write script journal, um, as well as talk to your peers and friends and loved ones that can help you out. If you got a lot going on up here, make sure you're letting that shit out. All right, was a message for you. Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and jump over here to the outcome for the month of December 2021. What is going to be the overall outcome here for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus throughout the month of December 2021. What do we got? Oh, card flipped over. What do we got? We got here the King of Pentacles. I like it, man. Really grounded mentality. Really, really grounded month. Really, really abundant month, you know? When you can be in the energy of gratitude, aka the energy of I have all that I need, you're technically in the energy of abundance too. And I really feel that for you here in the month of December. It's like, listen, by no means necessary is my life perfect. By no means necessary am I living the most extravagant life, but it is a life that is very self-serving. It's a life that's really good for me, right? It serves me. It is a life that I enjoy. And you know what? I'm going to sit here. I'm going to appreciate it. I'm not going to take it for granted. And... I feel abundant already just being in that energy of gratitude and continuing to live my life by staying committed to my goals, by staying committed to what's healthy for me, by doing what I need to do for myself and actively exploring new types of adventures that come my way, I'm living a pretty great life. And who knows, the more that I keep appreciating my life, the more that I keep exploring, I may find even more joy in these new types of explorations and experiences that are coming my way. So King of Pentacles, guys, it's really just a whole grounded ass month for you, man. It 
it's a month that you are just staying as temperate as possible. You're just making, you know, maintaining that lifestyle that you're living, maintaining doing healthy things for yourself, maintaining caring about yourself and working on yourself, maintaining appreciation for the life that you have, and ultimately allowing yourself to continue explore, uh, to explore, excuse me, the new experiences that may or may not come in for you, you know? And like I said, there was that subpar section of where it was like you're actively avoiding something, but you have good reason to do so, Scorpio. Like I said, whatever it is you're avoiding, you're avoiding it because you don't want it to unravel all the hard work you're doing right now on enjoying yourself and enjoying your life. You don't need something to rain on your parade, right? Uh, so that's good. Okay. All right, Scorpio. Guys, I'm sorry if this was not the most specific reading ever. You know, I usually tend to have a little bit more specifics in my tarot readings normally. I tend to have a lot more information normally. I definitely didn't have the most here for you, but it is just a genuinely good reading, you know? Sometimes you don't need to keep fishing for more as a tarot reader to try to grasp, you know, the best and ultimate reading. Sometimes it's just like, take your take your wins for the month and run with it, right? Because it's a good month. I, I would just run with this, Scorpio. Um, if you don't got a lot going on, like, sometimes that's a chill-ass month. That's a good-ass vibe, you know what I'm saying? It's good sometimes not to have a lot going on. So, Scorpio, I like it for you. Enjoy December. I'll cut you guys for the mid months and uh, we'll see what happens or if anything changes then but as far as for the month of december you're looking pretty rock solid y'all i like it all right scorpio i love y'all so much thank you for tuning in i hope y'all enjoy this message if it resonates let me know down in the comments down below i'm pretty sure i'm going to remember the word i wanted to use throughout this entire reading the moment i end this reading <laughs> so i'll remember what it is eventually scorpio sorry i couldn't remember it throughout this reading but guys if you're new here consider subscribing enjoy the rest of your december guys and i will catch you all in the next video much love to my scorpios and have yourselves a good one peace